Hi, and welcome back to Gale Ackerman Wildlife Area. My name is Ann Krieger, and I am the restoration ecologist, project biologist for this island. It's been several years now, since 2018, since we've been out here, and I thought it would be fun to have you take a look at what we've done in this time and how the island is responding to some of the uh, restoration work that we've been doing. This is a photo from 2018, which this is what it looked like uh, four years ago, roughly today. And you can see that in this photo, there is a lot of that invasive plant species that we're trying to get rid of, the Ludwigia hexapetala. This is what we've got now um, with the four years of treatment so far. To give you an example um, of the Ludwigia and how far we've come in four years, this back channel was choked, literally choked with it. If you remember, it was 100% Ludwigia. We've got a tiny little patch right here, which we just had sprayed chemically a couple of weeks ago, and you can see it's already dying. There isn't a whole lot left to treat. This is, we're gonna probably have this kind of stuff for a couple of years, and then hopefully it'll be gone. There's a blue dye, so you know that this area has been sprayed. Uh, it becomes inert after a couple of hours, so it's not a threat if you were to walk through here. So one of the things that you can probably see that's pretty evident is that water is now visible. And in fact, um, more of the native plants that we've been wanting to encourage for reestablishment here are showing up. Here we are at the mouth of what I call the slough. It's at the confluence of Rickerell Creek and the Willamette River, which are just in front of me. And behind me is this giant alcove that we had started our project on back in 2018. If you recall at that time, there was very little of the native plant Wapato, which is now surrounding us, that arrow-leafed plant that you see, but it was pretty much all Ludwigia. If you look behind us now with our treatments, the Wapato has moved in and it's further pushing that Ludwigia out so that there's room for the Wapato to expand. This is the plant I've been referring to, the Wapato, Sagittaria latifolia. And Sagittaria means arrow-shaped. They're very easy to tell if you do come across them, although they're not that, um, they're not everywhere. We're really lucky to have this large population. The Native Americans relied on this plant a lot in the Willamette Valley for the tubers that are underneath the soil. As far as what value it brings today, in addition to still having cultural significance for our native tribes, is the, um, the value that they provide to wildlife. I have seen, as I'm walking through here, uh, amphibians sunning on the leaves because they're nice and broad, and um, you can see sometimes shadows as you're walking through here of little amphibians, like tree frogs, that are just sitting there soaking up the sun. Flowers provide a lot of value to our native and non-native pollinators like the honeybee. Um, I come across them all the time in here. So there is value to ensuring that this plant propagates, you know, in lieu of the uh, Ludwigia hexapetala. This winter we were able to, after three years of um, treatments to get the areas ready, and remove most of the exotics and non-native plants, we were able to bring in 55,000 shrubs and trees in a few of the units, including where we're standing. Uh, this coming winter, we're gonna be planting 75,000 more to cover the rest of the island and areas that we've treated. So we had hand planting of these 55,000 throughout portions of the island um, to include a wide diversity of plants that are native to not only this island but to the um, area and that you're going to commonly find in riparian habitats. A natural consequence sometimes of doing this kind of restoration work or any work where you're removing vegetation you know to make way for natives you're also making way for new invasives to come in. So. The goal is not to get rid of everything that isn't native, but to find that happy compromise so that your system is functioning on an ecosystem level. 